Hey guys, it's Adrian Jensen for ProductionCrate.com. Welcome to VF Experiments. Today we're gonna be doing some photogrammetry. It's really neat, it's very futuristic. I'd say the future is so bright, I gotta wear shades. Is that cool? Did I sound cool? Cause this is going on the internet. I'm not confident with this look. So Chris and I have been trying photogrammetry for a few days now, and we've had a lot of embarrassing failures, but we seem to have come up with a system that works. So let's go over to Chris and take a look at that setup. It's over here. Hey guys, Chris Kelly here. And as Adrian mentioned today, we are messing around with photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is taking a series of photographs, changing the angle of either the object or the camera. That way the software we use is able to extrapolate the information from those photographs, creating a 3D model or 3D scene. To do this, we tried various techniques, but we always run into one issue or another and we would end up with some monstrosity like this thing here. This is bad photogrammetry. Luckily, we figured out a good technique and we came up with some awesome models which we are gonna share with you like this potato. If you're not using potatoes, you're not doing it right. All right, here's how we made it. Potato is a very basic shape with some relatively basic textures on it. We have even lighting going all the way around our potato. We found that using a white surface is nice. That way we're getting a little extra bounce off the ground plane since we can't actually put a light underneath our potato or any object we use on this. This is our turntable. So instead of moving the camera an entire 360 degrees around our object, we're gonna move our object 360 degrees and we're gonna shoot it with a static camera. After that, we're gonna go into post and see if we have a good 3D potato. Let's go. All right, everyone, so that is 100 plus photos of a potato. It's definitely more than we need, but uh, we play it safe and we have some pretty powerful computers, so I can go a little overboard with over 100 photographs of a potato. <laughs> Now we're ready to bring those 100 or so potato images into a software to uh, convert them into a model. Today we're gonna to be using Reality Capture. There's also Meshroom, which is a cool free alternative. Let's just go ahead and import those and we'll click Align Images. And, oh wow, there we go. So now we can see the point cloud, which is a good indication that this is actually going to work. So we can prematurely call this a success Let's go ahead and just click the calculate model button and now we just wait a little while for that. Whoa, it actually worked. The textures look like a potato. I'm thrilled with this. I'm really glad this worked out. Uh, it's been a successful day. Why are you still looking at me? We got a potato. Potato's amazing. We have a 3D potato. If you want the potato, link in the description below. But that's not all. We're gonna scan some more non-potato objects. That includes this object right here. It's a French roll. We're gonna scan it. It's gonna be 3D and you can have this French roll. We're also gonna scan these. This is a bagel. I lost one, but we'll pick it up and we'll scan it and you get some bagels. And I think that's everything. I, oh, we corn chips. We're gonna, we're gonna make some corn chips. Thank you guys for watching. This has been VFX Experiments. I've been Adrian Jensen. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe. And if you didn't, um, then I'm going to feel blue. Blue, blue. Is that a funny joke? Like blue, like sad, but it's also a color. Is it a good joke? <laughs>